Hello you guys, and I'm back with another video. This is the SD uh, the SGT type after uh two hours of snow making. Right now it's about seven o'clock. Um I started around five. Right now it's about seven o'clock. There's my snowmaker still going. And look, you can probably see the difference. There's a patch, but I've already shoveled all that up. So I got some more snow. So if you look right over here, I got like a big pile right now after two hours of snow making. That's about two feet deep and about five feet long and about three feet wide. Yeah, I don't know how this thing does it, but it makes some snow. I'm just saying, this stuff. This is this one of the best snowmakers I've ever made. I've only made two. The first one didn't really work. But uh this one perfect working. Everything was everything was good on it. Mm. Yeah, I just waiting for uh waiting for to go do the car buckle jam uh, sledding jam this Sunday. It's gonna take me another twenty hours of snow making. I'm gonna be making snow for another day by the time I get that much snow. But uh yeah. I just tried to get this like uh, a little bit get some snow on down. Cause uh as you can see outside, we live in uh a place that gets like it gets cold. We get some regular snowstorms like once a drop like a foot or two sometimes. That's about once a year. There's only one storm that does that every year, though. But, I mean, if you look at the ground, there's no snow on it at all. If you look over there, you see snow. No snow. So, uh, this is uh, January, something like 5th or 6th. So, yeah, it's January the 5th. We used to have, like, 2-3 inches of snow on the ground. And then it got up to, like, 60 degrees, and then we lost it all. And I'm going to be the only one in our neighborhood that has snow. And I'll be hosting the Far Buckle Tube Jam on Sunday. Right now, I'm cranking out snow on uh, Wednesday night. I'm not gonna be able to make snow on Thursday because I got I'm going skiing. But uh, yeah, on Friday I'm gonna run this thing for like 20 hours. I'm gonna run it from still from like 3 o'clock to like 4 a.m. And uh, yeah. I'm going to give this thing a break at like 8.30, 9 o'clock, so I'm going to shovel up my sledding hill and go check that thing out. Once I go do that, then I'll be cranking out some more snow. And this is a free plan. It's free. It's free. You can go buy a good air compressor that can power this thing for $100, and uh, you could run this thing. It costs about, you can pay like, probably like a... For water, it's probably like five, six, seven. For for like electricity, it'd probably take like a dollar an hour. It's like a dollar or something an hour. If you run like just your air compressor, it's just like a dollar an hour. But the water's like five dollars an hour. So no, it's been something like three, four dollars an hour. So yeah, three, four dollars an hour. That's not really that bad. No, it depends on how you run it. If you run it with like a top, a lot of, a lot of snow, this, this one right now that I have, it probably costs, uh, two dollars an hour for water on your water bill. But my other one that I have, I'm gonna go into my room and show it to you. The ST, the ST, uh, the SG, uh, to SG2. Um, and, uh, here it is right here. Here's the SG2. It has uh, two nozzles. This one will cost four dollars an hour to run with the water, but these are mostly pretty cheap to run. There's my water thingamajigger for the SG to SG3 or the SG2. Uh, well, I'm planning on buying a. Uh, you can buy everything off. Uh, you can go buy like rails and stuff. Just snowathome.com. You can go buy every snowmaker. Ones that make like an inch of snow an hour, the ones that make like five. They got like the Extreme 7G something or other seven that makes a ton of snow per hour. 
If you're like, I'm not really a guy, I don't really have that much, uh, I don't, I have, uh, we're not really, like, crazy with it, we're just making it, like, a little bit, so, uh, yeah, I'm making it outside, and I'll try to finish it up. I'll, uh, show you some videos and some stuff on the Fire Brooklyn Jam on Sunday, and I'll give you, I'll give you another video at three hours, just to see how this thing's going, see you later, dogs, peace out.